So today we're going to talk about Anton. Anton is the four-star Slytherin nature hero from the Tower of Magic event. So today we're going to talk about his stats, his usability and an idea of where to put emblems on Anton. But first we're going to talk about Anton's special skills and his mana speed. Yes, Anton is a magic hero, so his mana speed is magic. Let's take a moment to remind ourselves what that means. Yes, at time of recording, magic heroes have two charges. They're called charge one and charge two. Without any mana bonuses, magic one will charge up at 5.6 tiles. So you'll need six tiles to charge that up. That's faster than very fast at 6.5 tiles. So you'll need seven tiles to charge up a very fast hero. Unfortunately, charge two for a magic hero is currently slower than slow. What I mean by this is you need 12.5 tiles to charge that up without any mana bonuses. Compared to 12 tiles for a slow hero, and 14 tiles for a very slow hero. With that out of the way, let's talk about Anton's special skill, High Moon Sun. High Noon Sun is a hit all skill. It does 185% damage to all enemies. Unfortunately, it only hits 50% of the time. Now, those that are hit get an additional 92 poison damage over two turns. As you can imagine, it's the 50% accuracy piece that is annoying a lot of players in Anton's current build. If you got Anton hitting 185% attack damage to all enemies, it would actually be quite a decent hit, not anywhere near the Little Johns or Costume Little Johns or Skittle Skulls or Costume Skittle Skulls, but still quite a decent hit. However, as you are only going to be hitting 50% of the time, it may seem like less than that, but you're going to be hitting your enemies 50% of the time, that damage needs to be halved. So I've put a table in the right hand side of your screen that compares hit all attack damage from all the current four star nature heroes in the game. Currently Little John has the hardest hitting four star nature hit all skill and with the 50% accuracy Anton would go from a 0.84 damage to a 0.42 damage to all heroes which is terrible compared to the other hit or nature four star heroes in fact i've heard back from quite a few players that they ignore the first charge skill from anton completely by this i mean they wait for the second charge the second mana charge is that each fallen ally has a 34% chance to get revived at 30 HP. All allies then regenerate 405 HP over five turns. So currently at time of recording, Anton is the only four star hero in Empires and Puzzles with the revival skill. 34% revival skill wasn't too shabby compared to previous revival heroes. Of course then Empires and Puzzles decided to release costumes for Albi and Mother North and all of a sudden 34% revival didn't seem as great. But revival is still one of the strongest skills in the game. RNG is still RNG. I'm sure we've all faced a Heimdall team with a 20% chance of revival, reviving 
all four allies in a raid battle. It's worth noting that that 30% HP that heroes are revived at is actually pretty good. It's actually stronger than Costume Albi and Costume Mother North at 28% and 15% respectively. And if this hero wasn't complicated enough, there is a passive skill which fires only when you fire the second charge of the special skill. The passive skill has a 50% chance of healing 30% to all allies, but doesn't apply to any allies that are of the nature element. So basically, Anton is best to use only when he is the only nature hero on his team. Talking of stats very quickly, fully leveled up without emblems, Anton has an attack power of 650, that's 16th out of 24 current nature 4-star heroes. His defense comes in at 693, that's the top, top defense of any 4-star nature hero currently, and his HP isn't too shabby at 1334, that's 5th of 24 current nature 4-star heroes. Now, not everyone's going to like Anton enough to put cleric emblems on him, but if you do, I recommend going down the sword path and HP as a second stat. That will bring Anton up to 740 on defense and 1,482 on HP. This will help Anton stay alive and revive in both wars and in the Magic Tower.